Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are driving through the Fairview Shopping Center in Montego Bay, Jamaica. Now this is the largest shopping center in Jamaica. And it's also the largest shopping center in the English speaking Caribbean. This is a massive plaza. It has different sections and the land that this plaza is located on it's only 50 percent used so this plaza can get even bigger as time goes on now in jamaica we have a simple formula or on this channel we have a simple formula for what a successful plaza is in jamaica so if you want to, you will have three rules and if you follow those three rules you'll have a successful plaza in jamaica rule number one build a plaza in a populated area and montego bay is a very populated area it's the second city in jamaica fairview is a very busy area so the plaza was built in a populated area two you're going to need a large supermarket and this plaza is so large that it has two supermarkets it has Hilo and it has shoppers uh, has progressive foods and those two supermarkets are two of the largest in Jamaica three you need food restaurants and this plaza has everyone you can think of it has KFC it has Wendy's it has juicy patties it has tutti frutti it has pizza hut you name it it's here also has a lot of other restaurants okay on the left you can see the wendy's and straight ahead on the left is the juicy patties and then there's a domino's pizza on the left straight ahead you have the digicel store and then beside it a few stores down you have the flow store this plaza this plaza has almost every store you can think of in montego bay okay straight ahead now on the left that is the progressive food supermarket and progressive foods is a part of the well, i guess the progressive foods group they also operate the are associated are are associated with the the shoppers fair supermarkets okay now coming up you can see a better view of the supermarket you're going to see the entrance soon on the left also this plaza so those are the things you need for a successful plaza and the fact that they have two supermarkets they have so many food stores only adds to how popular this plaza is also how large now straight ahead okay well we can't see it again but there is a ncb bank there is a cibc bank there is a scotia bank it's it's a massive plaza huge and as you can see it's nicely maintained the roads are good the landscaping is excellent so you, it was it was um, an excellent idea to build this plaza and if you notice um, all the stores are occupied so that again goes to show you how how well this plaza does now the plaza was built in different phases it started with um, the KFC and the supermarket at the top and then over time other buildings have been built and as we said at the beginning there is a lot more space for more buildings to be built for this plaza okay there's also a mother's soup a mother's food store a subway and a lot of government entities have have um, offices in this plaza now in Jamaica we use the word plaza and mall interchangeably also shopping center 
But in America, okay, straight ahead is the model store. And as we pass models, you're going to see Subway. In Jamaica, we use the word or the term plaza, mall, and shopping center interchangeably. There is even a place called the Mall Plaza. But in America, a mall is like an indoor structure. But in Jamaica, we just use the terms to describe somewhere with shops. We're not that specific. Okay. And some, I think the RGD office is on the left. Straight ahead, you see the Maxi Food Store. Also, this plaza has a lot of pharmacies. Now, in in Morant Bay, the they are building the Morant Bay Urban Center, and I think it's they're trying to model that structure of the Fairview concept because they're going to build like a one-stop place in Morant Bay. Just like you have everything here in Fairview, all the government buildings, the banks, the supermarkets, I think they're trying to use that model elsewhere. And this model actually works. I'm surprised that we don't have um, plazas or malls like this um, in other parts of Jamaica. I think the reason for that is the land. I mean, obviously you have to follow the three rules. But to get land in the populated areas is very hard. And to build a small or a plaza of this size, it that kind of land is, is not readily available. Probably in a place like Portmore is the only place, other place in Jamaica, in Jamaica I can think of where you'd build such a massive structure. Alright guys, enjoy the tour. And remember to like, share, and subscribe. If anybody knows what the rent is like in these buildings, I heard a figure once of between 10 and 14 US per square foot. I'm not sure. That was some time back. So if anybody knows what the rent is like now, you can... Um, Leave a comment in the section below. I'm sure a lot of persons would be interested to know. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Have a good day.